Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today we will be creating a Backrooms inspired game. First let's create a maze. Click on the part and add texture. Down here click on add image. And we'll choose the file. Click on create. Now we have the texture. Now let's duplicate it five times more and now for each texture select a different face now let's find the color for now let's make this 50 by 50 Now we will make that white line that goes around here. And now we'll add some extra walls. Like this. Now we will add the ceiling. Now we will take the texture from the base plate. And put it here. Now we will create a 4x4 four four block. And now duplicate it time now we will color these two just to see where are the parts now we will add a small line between them and scale it. And now take a look inside. You can see it is very dark, so we'll add a light source to each of these panels. We'll take this one and let's type light. So we've got surface light, spotlight, and point. We'll use the we can see now we can see the spotlight it, it pointing towards the left we don't want that so we'll just go to the bottom see it this part of the room. we can also change its color add yellow and let's set its brightness to now we don't want this side light from the outside or so we'll go to lightning the brightness and these two this looks much better let's go to this one and let's add a script Let's localize the part and the uh, light. So local part is script parent and local light is script dot parent dot spotlight. And let's add two function. So function on and function off. So here we have enabled checkbox, this will be our light property that we will change and our material is set to neon, so it will be smooth plastic when it's turned off. So on, the part dot material is material light dot enabled is equal to true is this. Instead of neon, it will be plastic and it false. Now we'll also add a sound, so go to box, so audio, and search for light.
this one sounds good. Take this one. We'll take this one. Now let's put it in here and name it. Sound. Let's go back to our script and cut. Now, while it turns off for a second, it sound will play. Play. Down here, we'll make a while true function. Let's wait five seconds. Then go get random wait then range so we'll do like 20 to 20. so the lights flicker at the time We'll type function off. This will happen. Five seconds after that, the light will be back on. Now we'll select all of these and copy them to all parts. Okay, so this is how it looks now. Now let's run this with camera. Oh, let's try again. Okay, so it works as you can see. Now we'll add the ambient, ambience sound here, set it to looped, set it to playing. Let's place the spawn part inside. Smaller, transparent, not touch, cannot query, cannot collide. So what I did is I changed the sky box, uh, set density of atmosphere to 0 0.5, uh, added a lot of bloom so the lights uh, get a nice texture and depth of field I can enable it or disable it depending on what is our goal so it will be like blurry. I don't know how well it matches. But we'll play it. And let's run the game now. We can also make it first person. Go to starter player, camera mode, lock first person. Try it out now. Thank you guys for watching make sure to like and subscribe if this tutorial helped you and see you in the next one